Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here and if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the regular updates of our playlist. Okay, so today's question we are going to see as a reverse a linked list. So the given output input here is that we have 10 followed by 20, 30 and null. Output we should have is that point is reverse, ho that is 30, 30 would be the head of the new link list and it should be followed by 20 10 and null right so this is this is our need right this is our need so regarding to our need we will make some additional pointers hum kya karenge yahan par ek 10 ko hum ek null point karana hai right so let's make a new pointer null and a point it as previous correct and let's this pointer as current and just the next pointer uh jo 10 ke baad jo pointer hai usse hum let's say next se denote kar rahe hain correct हमें क्या करना है 10 को नल की तरफ पॉइंट कर राइट सो लेट अस पॉइंट दिस करंट टुवर्ड्स दिस नल राइट सो इफ यू डू सो इफ यू डू सो व्हाट वुड बी द रिजल्टेंट लिस्ट सो यू वुड बी हैविंग नल 10 वुड बी पॉइंटिंग टू नल एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द लिस्ट वुड बी 20 30 एंड नल राइट ओके सो वी कैन सी दैट हमने एक इंस्टेंस अचीव कर लिया राइट तो सेम चीज हमें बाकी भी एलिमेंट्स के साथ करने होंगे बाकी नोड्स के साथ भी करना होगा टू अचीव the reversal of it तो हम क्या करेंगे pointers को बस आगे बढ़ा देंगे तो पहले tenth था हमारा pointer now now uh, the current pointer will be pointing at twenty and the next would be at thirty similarly previous को भी आगे बढ़ा के हम ten कर देंगे again we will do the same task that is current dot next would be pointing to previous right and previous is now ready to ten again the new list will look like ten twenty and here thirty which is pointing to null and again shift the pointers one at the right hand side so again the current will be 30 next will be pointing to null and the previous will be pointing to 20 again do the same thing point the current dot next to previous and what is the resultant list that we will get we will get next then 10 then 20 now 20 is 30 is actually pointing to 20 yes correct and before doing this thing now where our next current will be pointing to now the current will be pointing to this null right after we shift the pointers that is current dot next that is 30 dot next is 20 and the previous would be shifted to this 20 right so the updated pointers as you can see that the previous is now situated with the reference of this 30 and the current is pointing to null right so that means we have as you can see that we have achieved our reversal list as well so what is the termination condition that we will use a while loop and we will we will iterate till our current is not pointing to null as soon as it points to null we need to stop right so can we draw some pseudo code can we write some pseudo code regarding the steps we have done yes definitely so what we are doing here this current is actually you are pointing to your head which is given head right so we will do this first of all outside the for loop we will say that node head not node current is equal to head right node current is equal to head now we will have some additional pointers that is previous and next so just write it here previous is equals to null as well as next is equals to null right these will be the initial declarations that you need to make inside the while loop what we are doing first we are uh, we have done this work of pointing the current pointer to the head right now what we need to do is that we need to make a next pointer right so we will say that next is equals to nothing but current dot next correct okay what was the second step that we made this was the first step now this is the second step right that is we are making the pointers current dot next equals to previous so that that is it what we will write current dot next is equals to previous what is the third step that we are doing that we are updating a previous pointer to the current as you can see that the previously 10 was actually holding the reference variable name of current but now it is saying as previous right so that what we will write so previous is equals to current and as you can see that the previously next was actually holding this node value 20 but now current is holding that value so what i will write current is equals to next current is equals to next and that's it these are the four lines of code that is required in this while loop and we will be happily getting the reversal of our linked list now for you guys it is highly encouraged to please do a dry run again by yourself using another test case and you will be good to go let us pause this video here now uh, it is highly recommended for you guys to pause this video now and move back to your code editor and try to code this pseudo code in your actual code editor and let's get ahead okay so here's the gfg problem mentioned i will mention the link in the description as well so that's the exact same code which i have explained to you that we made a current pointer pointing to head and the previous and next pointer pointing to null 
and the declaration then we have a while loop that we first made a next pointer that is current dot next and we just point the current to previous and then shift all the pointers one by uh, by one value in the right hand side correct as you can see the compilation has been passed successfully what is the time complexity in the space complete of this code that we are visiting each and every node in this linked list so that would be o of n what is the space complexity that we are just using two to three additional pointers that is current and previous and next so that would be o of one constant space let us at the submit button analyze the further task and yes as you can see the expected and uh, time and auxiliary space is mentioned as we discussed let us analyze the constraint as well so constraint is 10 power 4 that is o of n so we are using 10 power 4 iteration so definitely that is less than 10 power it and that should this code will successfully get submitted that's great let us see the c process code and we'll move ahead okay so for the c plus user this is the code for you guys i don't think a walkthrough is needed uh, just that the writing syntax for the pointers differs in java and c plus plus in java we actually store the reference and we can just uh, use it if you want to access it we can use just dot operator here we need to use some star and yes that is it let us hit the submit button okay that's great so there's a lead code standard problem as well given on the lead code platform so let us solve that question also let us just hit the submit button for this problem as well so that's this java code here again the c plus code will work as it is as you can see the compilation has been passed successfully all the test cases have been passed let us hit the submit button and verify this submission so great so great as you can see it is successfully submitted on this platform as well so let us end this video and we'll meet again in the in the next question of our link list page till then keep learning keep going bye bye and take care guys